hello everyone in this video I will be demonstrating how to reproject a digital elevation model tau in QGIS okay the first thing we need to do is to find out the projection of the tau we have already loaded in the GIS canvas and to find out the projection I, I, what I do is to right click on the name in the layer section click on properties and then in this information I can see all the information that relates to the file I have loaded now if you look at the coordinate reference system is this the extent of it see there is 49 almost 50 and this is also 52 that's in degrees as you can see the unit so just to give me a hint of the projection in which my my file is so this is in a projection which is in the longitude and latitude projection okay so I'm now going to reproject it based on my area of work now this is a catchment area which covers portions of Netherlands that's Eastern, uh, Eastern Netherlands and Western Germany so I will be going for a global projection and not a local projection due to the fact that my catchment area is hoofing over Eastern Netherlands and Western Germany okay so to do this I click on raster projections and I have reproject so I click on reproject here alright the input layer obviously is the is, is your file of interest so that will be uploaded by default but when you have several of of the raster files here you, sh you should take extra caution to really select the one you want to input here alright so the source CRS we leave it it is the target CRS which is of interest and it is the it is the coordinate reference system which we want to reproject it so you should as a point of caution note your coordinate reference system before coming to this section and to search for it you can click on this select CRS option so you have this window popping up so you can filter to, you can filter to search for your coordinate reference system and then you load it up now in my case it's I know it because I've been using it so it is the UTM zone 32 and the EPSG is 32632 so I load it up and then I have it loaded up here I keep this as it is the new data value for input bands I set it at minus 999 and then output file resolution I set it at 30 so someone will be saying why why do you have to set it at 30 why do you want to set it to 30 now I'm using the one arc second global data elevation model which gives me a resolution of 30 meters above the ground surface so that's the reason why I go for 30 so it's 30 meters from the ground surface alright so next is to okay I leave this I leave that okay so I come straight to reproject it so I want to save my file and to save the file so I will probably save it as a, a reprojected so DEM DEM reprojected DEM reprojected save and then I can run it in the background so finish running I can close it now alright so now you see that um, the reprojected DEM will appear in the list so we have the reprojected appearing in the list in the layer section now it's it may seem a bit distorted from the image um, 
which is due to the fact that the map canvas projection is still in the latitude and longitude and this this can be seen by looking at the lower right section here all right now this is this is due to the on the fly projection which causes a difference between the projection in the file and the one that is visualized so that's what is resulting in the distortion so we need to correct for this um, this error and to do this what you need to do is just click on this okay so I click on it and then I need to again select my uh, projection which is WGS 84 UTM zone 32 I select it I apply OK and that is it so I now have my reprojected mosaic file in the right projection coordinate so that's how easy and how systematic it is to reproject any digital elevation model file you may be working with thank you very much for your time and uh, if you have any comment kindly um, put it down in the comment section and if you have a problem as well do same and I will attend to it accordingly um, you can as well subscribe to get a notification of um, other upcoming videos I will upload and yeah thank you very much for your time have a nice day bye bye